Nina Son Konnichiwa und Welcome. And it got me thinking, since I've just watched the Nostalgia Critics Fox Kids video not too long ago, about the time I take it up a notch by talking about my own experiences with cartoons on Saturday mornings. And pretty much my entire childhood in general. My earliest memory of being a child was when I saw the Disney adaptation of Peter Pan and then the Disney version of The Little Mermaid. Then, then it switched over to a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. You know, Timeless Tales from Hallmark? And the episode on that tape was The Ugly Duckling. One of Hans Christian Andersen's more well-known tales. Then it transitioned over to a Care Bears tape which had the episodes The Lost Gift and Lots of Hearts Wish, which are both prime examples of Care Bears episodes done right, which was season three. Another earliest memory I've had in childhood was my first exposure to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Garfield and Friends, which were CBS's killer apps for years. Yep, I was exposed to the series in the early 90s, and that would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which had Cam Clark, Townsend Coleman, Rob Polson, and Barry Gordon as Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael, respectively. Oops. My mistake. Cam Clark was the one who voiced Leonardo and Rocksteady, Barry Gordon is the one who voiced Donatello and Bebop. Townsend Coleman is the one who voiced Michelangelo, sometimes Krang, and the Shredder during Season 7. And Rob Paulson was the one who voiced Raphael until Season 10. And Garfield and Friends was another classic show I've watched as a kid. Remember, this all happened in between 91 and 93. Because Garfield and Friends was the, was the popular lead in. Because Ninja Turtles was the show the network wanted me to watch. Because it was supposed, it was going to be on in the next hour. But also around 91, I was first exposed to anime. Most particularly, the Tatsunoko adaptation of Pinocchio, known in Japan as Kashinokimuku. Then, around 92, I was exposed to Filmation's Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night, and Walt Disney's Beauty and the Beast, which was one of the hottest selling movies around that time period, when it was released on VHS. And then around 93, I was exposed to, to the Japanese Soviet Union film Chisana Pengen, Roro no Boken, which to us Americans is called The Adventures of Scamper the Penguin, which I haven't watched in a while. Then I was also exposed to Saban's Ox Tales and Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics. Yep, Ox Tales and Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics in 1993 from Saban. And the episode I remember from the latter was The Coat of Many Colors. And then I saw The Man of Iron in 1996. And between late 93 and early 94, Disney's Aladdin was the hot-selling tape, which had such familiar voices like Robin Williams and Gilbert Gottfried. And then, 
around autumn of around the summer of 1994 I became obsessed with Once Upon a Forest which Hanna-Barbera produced and 20th Century Fox distributed but one year prior I was exposed to Fern Gully The Last Rainforest which also had Robin Williams but it also had Tim Curry then by between autumn and December of 94 I actually remembered CBS's Saturday morning lineup, which, which in in the state of Wisconsin is centered around Central Standard Time. At seven, they showed the Little Mermaid TV series. Then, at at seven thirty, they showed the Beethoven cartoon, based on the two movies from Universal Studios. Then at 8, they showed the Aladdin TV series. Then at 8.30, they showed the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was going through the Red Sky seasons around that time. That's right, Ninja Turtles was going through that, that transitional stage when all the popular cartoons were dark and edgy. You know, like X-Men and Batman the Animated Series on Fox? Anyway, back to CBS. At 9 o'clock, they showed Wildcats. At 9.30, they showed, they showed Skeleton Warriors. And then at, at, from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, they showed Garfield and Friends for an entire hour. Yep, they actually showed Garfield and Friends for an entire hour. Then... Around December of 94, when I was still in Lemon Wire Elementary School at the time, I saw the Berenstein Bears Christmas tree. When I, when I was still in kindergarten at the time, around December of 1994. This should be enough for part one. Stay tuned for part two as I talk about more of my childhood memories with entertainment. So stay tuned, my friends.